Um, this is not a ticking time bomb because your fuel pump runs through this because this has nothing to do let's just clear one thing up this has nothing to do with uh, when you first start it what will happen is you'll start your Jeep and it'll run for a couple seconds and then quit this thing don't work until after the Jeep is running it has nothing to do with startup this thing don't even get any power when you first cycle the key um, but anyway if you're having a problem with your older Jeep starting up and then just dying, first thing to check is your ballot resistor. Just take your two plugs off and uh, connect two wires. Take this, these two plugs off and connect two wires together so these two will be together and see if it will run. Now a lot of people uh, will not bypass these. Oh no, it's a big no-no, big no-no. Chrysler actually used these on many vehicles, not just the Jeep Cherokee. Um, it's to quiet your fuel pump down um, because people were complaining that the fuel pump was rumbling It was making noise. It was making a whining noise So this cuts the power down from like 12 volts to 10 volts on your fuel pump and it quiets it it quiet It makes it quiet. So it's no big deal. You can bypass this uh, I've bypassed them when they go bad But if you want to do it right uh, These are like 10 bucks, maybe even five bucks at your local parts store but if you're in a pinch and you need to get home, just wire these two wires together if you have an extra wire, and you should be able to get home. That was quick tip of the day.